I was Shabbos in California. And I heard a might in the Kamais. I heard a might in the Kamais. Listen to the story. Listen to the story. The Rebbe sent Shluchim to California. The first day of California was Abed Aichik, Allah was Shalom, Zachary, and Levracha. He was sent to Tavshin Tess, I think, 1949. But Abed Aichik was not sent to be a Lababach Shlich. Forget. He was sent to assimilate into the firm world and to be Makar of all Yidin. And there are, today, there are probably tens of thousands of Yidin who don't even know it. That if Abed Aichik had not come to California, they would not be, they would not be from at all. Because their parents wouldn't have been from. Rabbi Leitchik was uh, Rabbi Leitchik saved the generation of Jews in, in California, mostly Hungarian Jews. <coughs> it's, it's Rabbi Leitchik's, what Rabbi Leitchik did in Los Angeles is no one's ever going to know because he was pushing friendships, personal friendships with so many Yidden. In Tavshin Chavhei, the Rebbe sent Rabbi Kuhn to, to California, and they started off in uh, whatever in the Jewish neighborhood, and then Rabbi Kuhn and the Jewish neighborhood was a very interesting uh, mix. So he opened the first Chabad house. The first Chabad house was in Yale Avenue, which is in US, UCLA, a campus. And it was a, it was a, it was a atom bomb that, that Frum Yidden could stand in a college campus in those times. It was such a terrible time and so on and so forth. We wish we had a terrible time from 1969 today. The world is asach memis, asach asach memis. We have much more tolerance for not edel azach than we had then. Anyway, the Rebbe sent him a message. That the second Chabaros has to be in uh, Wisdom of Shagoyim, where it's in Northern California, in Berkeley. Avia Vesa Meshagoyim. Right? So, but they didn't have a person. So what they did was, until so the Shliach to Berkeley was Rabbi Chaim Ichad Drizin, who, who now he lives in Florida. He was the first Shliach to Northern California. So you're talking now almost 50 years ago. So, but before Rabbi Drizin came to California, they, they took turns. There were four shlochim in California. There was Rabbi Konin, there was Rabbi Davitansky, all of Shalom, there was Shleim and Schwartz, there was Rachmiel Stillman, and maybe there was somebody else. So they would go up to Berkeley to do things on a, so to speak, a quasi Chabaras in Berkeley until they could find a full time shliach to move to Berkeley, California. So Shleim and Schwartz goes up to Berkeley for, for Sukkot. He has a little Vanessic, and he's stopping people at the center square, and you have to put a shake in the little Now, his philosophy was that they didn't talk to people about the Rebbe. Because what mattered is what the Rebbe wants to get done, not the Rebbe's uh, personality. A guy walks up to him, a guy walks up to Shleim Mishwartz, and the guy is so shaky, he's so high on some kind of a drug, he's mamish, mamish. He would turn that seal and ah, he's flying all over the place. And he asks the guy, if you want to uh, shake a lulav, yeah, shake a lulav. The guy is mamish, I say, himmeldik. I forgot all the details of the story. The Nukut as a Sipa was, Shleimer said, uh, this guy was, was so happy and so up in the clouds. So he told him, listen, I, I just want you to know that if you really want to experience a, a high, you have to come 770 Simchas Tere. 770 Simchas Tere. It's, it's 3,000 miles away. 770, Simchas Tehra, And it's Sukkis. It's Sukkis. But he, he somehow, he told it, he explained to him what happens, and there's a kofis, and there's a dances, and it's the holiest joy in the world, and so on and so forth. Anyway, fast forward five days. Five days. Shleim Schwartz comes to the Rebbe Fetishre for Simchas Tehra, And he's standing on the bleachers. And across the room, he sees that guy. <laughs> that guy that he stopped on the square in the middle of the campus who was beat, up there. He's in 770, and he's part of the situation. He's enjoying himself. They couldn't talk to him. So he motions to him, how you here? How you here? So the guy responds this. You know what this means? You know what it means? He hitchhiked. He hitchhiked across. Schleimer told him, if you want to experience real meaningful simcha, go to 770. He had no money. He hitchhiked. He took rides from California and he came to the same time for Simcha Tehre. The other story is that guy lives in Crown Heights. He's a Zayde today. He never left. <laughs> when Schleimer wanted to give an example, a person doing tshuva in a moment, he would tell this story. He met a guy on a campus and he doesn't even know why. So I talked about 770, which he never did. Five days later, the guy hitchhiked to 770. He never left. That's the end of the story. You don't have to be fry to have a yachida. You don't have to be on drugs to have a yechida. We have a yechida. And when Hasidus talks to us, it gives us the same message. L'chaim <laughs> al